Hi everybody, I'm Tanucha Gomes, co-founder and co-CEO of Adado School of Music, the School of Music FSM. Today we are number one music educators in our country. We started the company with the vision to bring organized music education. Before COVID, we were the number one uh, you know, number one company enabling music education at every level. So whether it is in schools, partnership with K-12 schools, where we had about 150,000 students who've learned with us and active 75,000 students who were learning with us as on March 2020 across 200 schools. We had 15 centers. The children from the neighboring the locality would come and learn with us in our centers. And we had a preschool proposition as well as at-home learning through our app, Hi for Dogs. Um, our biggest USP is we understand music education space. The brand for Dardos is iconic to music. It stands for music in our country. And we had the access and we had, we've been working with the ecosystem of all artists, music educators for a long time. Um, as soon as COVID hit us, because we were largely focused on the B2B proposition, which was 75,000 students in schools and our centers, everything came to an halt. In fact, you know, it came to ground zero, as you can imagine, because uh, schools shut down, centers shut down. But we were always geared towards this online proposition. In fact, we had uh, our team was in place uh, since 2019. We were trying to build a proposition. How can we make? How can we reach out to people through online medium? And for us, in a way, this pandemic, while it hit us very hard and uh, nobody had time to work on it. In hindsight, it has worked out better because we always had a dream of scaling our B2C proposition and this whole online has made it possible. We've been able to reach across tier one, tier two, tier three cities uh, globally. Today, music education can be imparted from anywhere, can be learned sitting at home. So in that sense, the whole COVID impact has helped us. There is of course a transition where you see suddenly the revenue stream being very different than what plans that we all had made. But it helped us build a channel, learn from that channel and then enabling scale through that channel. Um, where are we today? We have been able to entire with agility metamorphose and build a very strong online proposition um, what is the kind of learning that we've had um, I think the one big learning is let you no know, you know we should not ourselves as founder have any perception that we are good at this and this is the DNA of the company and even if the world tells we should not let that settle in our head what we should know is we are passionate to reach out to as many people, we are passionate and committed to our distribution and we find enablers. So tech is an enabler, online is an enabler for us to reach as many households as possible and, and that is the single foremost thought with which the whole transition happened. How can we reach out to as many students and learners as possible? So my sincere learning has been um, you know, be committed to what you are good at and which is delivering your product or your service. The channels and the answers to the channels will happen. You will find the solution and that's what we exactly did. We've, we've taught over 25,000 students online in just about one year, 14 months. Um, you know, in all possible ways, we built something very strong, solid, even with technology. Today, I can assure that in terms of the tools that we have, the content that we have built is to ensure that every student learns consistently in a standardized manner and has a wonderful experience. Um, the last message is to every entrepreneur out there, every downside is an opportunity. I know it sounds too cliche, but truly speaking, it's up to us to make it opportunity. I, I genuinely believe that and that's exactly all my team members believe that we made it possible. Um, 
if we would have been too consumed with what we were losing as a business, we wouldn't have been able to move forward. We would have been, you know, grappling with the loss rather than the opportunity. So that's one. Second, I think agility. As an organization, how can we all become very agile and how everyone quickly equips themselves and keep learning more and more. Uh, there is my, there are miles and miles to go, but uh, yes, I, I feel in a way for me as an entrepreneur, this has been completely starting a new company and that has been the most exciting part. Thank you so much. Hello everybody. FSM was really created with a vision to offer, you know, music education to learners across all age groups. There was a time when really having access to music education was really challenging. You really did not know the teacher, where to get it from, what's the level of the teacher, what's the curriculum and so on and so forth. And hence FSM was launched with this whole ambition of making a high quality structured music education available and accessible to learners across the country and across all age groups. I think our strength really is our curriculum, our pedagogy, the technology that we have built to deliver this pedagogy and this curriculum. Our most amazing teachers who have been trained consistently and very, very regularly by FSM in enabling them and um, you know making it possible for them to deliver the curriculum in a way that the learners find it very very engaging and most importantly very very joyful. Honest survival uh, strategy really was to just keep doing what we knew will keep the clock ticking and keep us moving ahead. As a team we really put our heads together. Our digital strategy was already in place. We had a business head in place. We had our uh, content team in place. Um, all we had to do was really get our teams aligned and familiarize to the whole process of delivering this education to a digital platform pretty much with pretty much something that all educational institutions were doing our job was really to make that happen to to bring that process and that finish in the delivery process that we had offline replicate the same experience re replicate the same feeling of learning in the online mode as well. I think that itself help, helped us cope. There was so much to do, uh, so much to achieve, uh, so much of feedback that we were receiving on a day-to-day -day basis that we could further build on. Uh, and I think uh, we just put our heads down, kept building on this, and, and I think we kind of came through it pretty successfully.